Every city has a history, but some are darker than others. In every city's past, there are events that have happened that are part of its legacy. And while many are positive, some reveal a darkness that continues to cast a shadow over it to this day. Here are the 10 most chillingly haunted cities on Earth. Number one is Salem, Massachusetts. Known as the Witch City, Salem, Massachusetts got its reputation in 1692 when 19 people were executed after they were accused of witchcraft. The city is full of museums and tourist hotspots that reflect Salem's dark past, but it's the stories of these murdered people who continued to haunt the city that it's best known for. And none are more famous than that of its most notorious ghost, Giles Corey. He was one of the many executed Salemites. However, with his dying breath, he cursed the very town that ended his life. He is said to haunt not only Gallows Hill, which is already home to the spirits of supposed witches who were hanged there, but also the burying point in the Howard Street Cemetery. He's also been seen wandering the streets near Joshua Ward House, one of the most haunted homes in America. But perhaps most interestingly, the sheriff who ended his life, Sheriff Corwin, aka the Strangler, is also believed to still be haunting the town, forever cursed to wander the streets because of the curse that Giles Corey, who he was responsible for killing, put on him. Number two is San Antonio, Texas. Best known for the Alamo, the city of San Antonio is filled with terrifying tales and hauntings. So many, in fact, that a group of paranormal investigators formed the San Antonio Paranormal Network, which now looks into unexplained hauntings all across America. This city has several haunted buildings. The first is the local Alamo Street Theater, which used to be an old church and is home to a spirit called Marguerite, who is said to cause mischief for many residents of the town. Then there's the Menger Hotel, home to the ghost of chambermaid Sally White, who was shot by her husband and can still be seen carrying towels throughout the hallways. Those are but two of many other hotels like the Sheridan Gunter, Emily Morgan, and the Black Swan Inn, all of which having reports of live-in poltergeists. With the addition of reports of the ghosts of soldiers patrolling the city, San Antonio is not a place that you'll want to stay at overnight. Number three is Pluckley, United Kingdom. In 1989, Pluckley, United Kingdom was named the most haunted village in England by the Guinness Book of World Records. The village has at least 12 confirmed spirits. However, a few of them are particularly malevolent. One of the most popular is Lady During, better known as the Red Lady, who is said to haunt the St. Nicholas Church in search of the grave of her stillborn baby. Then there's the Highwayman, an unknown man killed after a fight with a lawman. He was murdered with a sword and pinned to an oak tree at the ironically named Fright Corner. The town also has a ghostly horse-drawn carriage by by Maltman's Hill, as well as Pinnock Bridge, which is haunted by the Watercrest woman who had accidentally set herself on fire there. Then there's the ghost of a schoolmaster who hung himself from a tree at Dickie Bus's Lane. But perhaps the most frightening spot in Pluckley are the Screaming Woods, where you can hear the sounds of the screams from the lost souls of people who wandered into the woods and never found their way back out. You yourself can free Freely enter the screaming woods at any time you wish, if you're brave enough. Number four is Chicago, Illinois. Chicago has a long history and with it a lot of hauntings. At Bachelors Grove Cemetery, many of the headstones are said to move at will. There's also a ghost named Resurrection Mary, who haunts the streets in her prom dress after being killed in a hit and run while on her way home from the dance. But one of the most infamous cases of ghostly happenings is the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. In the late 1920s, at the height of the Prohibition era, 
Rival gangs were trying to control liquor smuggling in Chicago. And on Valentine's Day 1929, it was anything but hearts and chocolate kisses. At 10.30 a.m. at a garage at 2122 North Clark Street, seven members of the North Side Irish Gang were lined up and shot dead by legendary gangster and leader of the South Side Italian Gang, Al Capone and his men. To this very day, there are reports of screams and the sound of machine guns at the site of the execution. It's even believed that bricks from the garage that were sold off or stolen when it was demolished are so cursed that they were willingly given back by those who stole them. Number five is Baguio, Philippines. Baguio has a turbulent history of war and natural disasters, which is how many of its notorious hauntings are believed to have begun. Located at the top of Dominican Hill, the Diplomat Hotel was originally home to Dominican priests, but during the Japanese occupation in World War II, the building was invaded and all those hiding inside faced gruesome deaths. Now abandoned, locals have reported seeing headless apparitions and hearing voices telling them to get out. Also during World War II, the Laparel White House was used as a garrison and became a place of torture and murder. It's now a museum, but reports of ghost sightings and supernatural occurrences have earned it the title of the most haunted house in the entire country. Number six is San Francisco, California. While San Francisco may be known as the Golden City, it's got a past full of shadows. In the 1950s, Chinese immigrants came to America via San Francisco, hoping for a better life. But many struggled to find success and they died penniless and alone. Because of this, it's believed that their spirits are stuck wandering the alleyways of Chinatown, making it one of the city's most haunted spots. San Francisco is also home to the ghost of Mary Lake, the former headmistress of an all-girls school that used to sit on the current site of the Queen Anne Hotel. Then there's the San Francisco Art Institute, which is built over a graveyard of victims from a 1906 earthquake whose spirits have been seen climbing the building's stairs. And it shouldn't be surprising that Alcatraz Island, the now closed prison that was home to a number of infamous criminals, is believed to be a ghost island today. Many prisoners died there while in custody or in the cold waters of the bay trying to escape, and now seem to be doomed to an eternity of walking the cell blocks of the prison. The island has been closed off to the public for years, for very good reason. Number seven is New Orleans, Louisiana. Although many southern towns in the United States are famous for their ghost stories, New Orleans is among the top of them all. Aside from the haunted mansions like the LaLaurie House and the Myrtles Plantation, there are 42 cemeteries in the city, including the St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, which has countless spirits roaming the grounds. One of these spirits is Marie Lavieu, the Queen of Voodoo, who died in 1881. Legend has it she materializes and haunts the grounds and will grant wishes to those that are brave enough to perform a ritual at her tomb involving drawing a red X and leaving her offerings. History tours in the city may also lead you to the ghost of Jean Lafitte, a pirate who is said to frequent Lafitte's blacksmith shop bar. There's also the French Quarter Hotel called Monteleone, a haunted hotel that has an elevator that always stops at random floors and where children's playful laughter can be heard. Not exactly a place you want to spend a night at. Number eight is Glasgow, Scotland. The city of Glasgow is home to some of the most terrifying hauntings in the entire world. The Glasgow Arches were a once abandoned viaduct below Glasgow Central Railway Station and housed a popular nightclub from 1991 up to 2015, but it's also where a young girl is rumored to haunt the downstairs corridors and will flee past you with a piercing scream if you try to approach her. Even more frightening are the unexplained disembodied childlike screams in the Glasgow Museum of Transport. Many tourists have also mentioned a man dressed in ancient clothing wandering the grounds of the Proven Hall 
Hall, rumored to be the previous owner, Reston Mather, who died suddenly in 1934. These are just some of the terrifying hauntings that the city is infamous for. Visit at your own risk. Number nine is Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Best known as the city where Abraham Lincoln delivered his famous address to the people during the American Civil War, Gettysburg is home to the spirits of many soldiers who lost their lives in battle. The city's only civilian casualty of the war, Guinea Wade, was only 20 years old when she was killed by a stray bullet on July 3rd, 1863. She is said to still wander the house where she died, offering comfort to those who are scared or upset. Set. The ghost of Rosa Carmichael, the headmistress of the city's orphanage, is also rumored to haunt the building's basement. Both Union and Confederate spirits are said to roam the rocky hill known as the Devil's Den, where a key battle took place. To this very day, it's said that spirits haunt the area, causing tourist cameras to malfunction and photos to come out blurry, but even more terrifyingly, for tourists to leave the area with bruises on their bodies. And number 10 is Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. Canada's most haunted town, Niagara on the Lake, is rumored to have more dead people walking the streets than living. The War of 1812 took place on the town's doorstep, and following the epic blaze that burned down most of the buildings, ghost sightings skyrocketed that continue to this day. One of these is the legend of sobbing Sophia. After learning that her love General Isaac Brock was killed in battle, she mourned his death for many years, eventually dying of a broken heart. Late at night, the sounds of a woman crying are still heard along Queen Street. The Old Angel Inn is also home to another tragic wartime love story. Legend has it that after desperate orders to evacuate, British Captain Colin Swayze stayed behind at the inn, waiting to meet up with his true love. Swayze tried to hide from the American soldiers in a barrel in the cellar, but he was stabbed to death by their bayonets. Guests have had countless encounters with the doomed captain, but the staff tried to keep his disturbances to a minimum by making sure the Union Jack is always flying over the inn. So, those were the 10 most chillingly haunted cities on Earth. Would you visit them? Thank you guys very much for coming by today. Remember to come back tomorrow and every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.